Let's keep the relig- the religious mumbo jumbo going because it is time once again for Steve to tell a mostly true story with another one of Steve's historical approximations. Okay. And I love this. The last one we did was the story of the Osagi Indian murders. Mm-hmm. And that was a lot of fun. So this week we're going less mainstream and more obscure, more obscure with the story of a vaguely unknown man in American history. It is the essentially true story of Paschal Randolph, 19th century sex magician. Sex magician. Sex magician. And his name, his first name is P-A-S-C-H-A-L. I'm not 100% Pas- Pascal? Pascal? Pascal. Pascal? Probably yeah. Jones. Yeah. I don't know. But Pascal Randolph, 19th se- century sex magician. This is a crazy story of sex and drugs and Abraham Lincoln. So was this like an act? Oh no 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 no! It's more it's more religious, uh, more religious than that. This isn't just an act. Hi, Spider Man. I was I was giving you like like a a a, a finger up to my lips, which was a please be quiet, and then I gave you sort of a scoot thing with my fingers. Not because I don't want you on the show. Of course, we love you on the show, Maxwell. It's just that I think that possibly some new listeners to the podcast might be a little bit unnerved by me talking about a 19th century sex magician while a five-year-old keeps interrupting. No, yes. I'm, 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 I'm Peter Parker, the, the young one, but I like being Spider-Man. Yeah. You like being Spider-Man? That's awesome. Hey, Peter Parker, maybe you should learn about the importance of a secret identity. Well, you, you keep your identity secret so that bad guys don't hurt the people that you love. So by just going around saying, hey, I'm Spider-Man, my real name is Peter Parker, you're basically wanting Aunt May to die. Dr. Octopus is going to be like, hello, Aunt May, I've come to kill you because your son is Spider-Man. Or your 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 grandson, your nephew, I, I don't know. Hey, don't throw noodles onto my computer, Maxwell. Jeez. Way to go, Spider-Man. Okay, gotcha, young Peter Parker. So the guy's name, he was born Paschal Beverly Randolph. I really like his middle name because that's a strong, manly 19th century name. Yes. He was a free man of color born in Virginia in 1825. But seriously, the reason why Paschal Beverly Randolph was so successful in his life was basically because he was he, he was born crazy white. He was born insanely yeah. white. There are pictures of him on the kinda, internet. Kind of like Lena Horne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just Google, do a Google image search for Paschal Randolph. The guy looks white as hell. That definitely helped the man. You Google his picture, and he looks like if Leonardo DiCaprio had a baby with James Brolin. <laughs> it's a bit creepy. He's got a, he's got a DiCaprio face, but with like a big beard and stuff because it's like the 19th century. So like, uh, just picture. Uh, DiCaprio in Django Unchained uh-huh. but with a weathered James Brolin face and that's basically the guy we're talking about that's Peshaw Randolph okay. it's a bit creepy actually it's a bit creepy those two guys had a baby and, the, and then the baby went into the past and became a sex magician so his dad just, just was, tell me he didn't do balloon animals no 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 okay. no no, no. His dad was related to some sort of congressman who worked under Thomas Jefferson, and then his mom was black, but it was one of those blacks that's like crazy mixed. So she was French and Native American and German, et cetera, et cetera. Technically, you want to get technical, uh, Paschal Randolph was an octoroon. So he was <laughs> he was one-eighth black, just like actor Michael Rappaport. Yes. So... 
so his dad ran off, and then his mom died in an early age. So Pascal Randolph was poor and homeless <laughs> at a at a very 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 young age. So he's he's homeless. He's poor. He's begging. He he's looking for something. So that so like so many other people, that's how he ended up as a sailor. Yes. Eleanor, why are you screeching? Why are you doing this victory screech? I've got, I've got Rodan in the house, basically. Yes. <laughs> why, why are you screeching, Rodan? More like Rodam, because she's being so loud. So by age twenty, uh. Because he's basically a homeless sailor, he finds himself traveling on these boats all across the world. He's traveling to England. He's traveling to Turkey. He's traveling to Egypt. He's traveling to Germany. He went to Syria. He went to Persia. And while he's touring around, he starts getting interested in mysticism. He starts getting interested in folk magic and the occult and various shit like that that he obviously can't learn in, like, puritanical America and whatever. So he eventually comes back to America. It's 1855, and he's 30 years old. This is where the story gets odd, okay? okay? First off, first off, he gets a job as a barber. But he's a barber that occasionally lectures throughout the nation on various subjects of interest. Okay. So, I don't know, he's uh, Pashel Randolph, the touring barber lecturer, <laughs> I guess. So eventually, people are really interested in his stuff because it's like, today we're going to be talking about how slavery is bad. And people are like, yawn. I don't want to hear this. And he's like, but you're going to want to hear what I have to say. I have toured the world. I have toured Egypt and Syria and Persia and have learned so much about mysticism and the occult. And then the people are like, yawn. I don't want to. Ooh, what was that about the occult? Suddenly, I'm very interested (laughs) in what this man has to say. So yada, 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 he became a trance medium. Okay. Like, he's doing lectures all across America on these things that he thinks are important. But also, he's a bit of a showman, and he knows what people like. So within a few years, he's a trance medium touring America. He believes that when he's put into a trance, he can talk with the dead. Yes. So so he starts touring all across America as a trans medium, and he makes a big name for himself. Suddenly people really know Pashal Randolph, the, like, magician that can talk to the dead. And, and it's odd because on one hand, he, he he's, can speak to the dead, and he believes in the magic powers of drugs to open up your mind. And it's like, okay, you might be a little bit weird. But on the other hand, he believed in birth control. <laughs> he believed in a uh, uh, free love and his very adamant pre-civil war views on abolitionism eventually made him BFFs with fucking Abraham Lincoln. Nice. Eventually him and Lincoln well, are like Well, his best. Mary Todd Lincoln from what I always heard was was very interested in the occult and yeah, spiritualism. I believe is what they were calling it at the time. Yeah. Something yeah. Like Lincoln that. Lincoln was quoted one at some point in time of saying that Pashal Randolph was like a true American patriot and hero for his views. So they were really BFFs. They were close friends, which I believe is proof that Lincoln smoked a few bowls in his day. Yes. Just FYI, because apparently Pashal Randolph, when he was in like the, the Middle East and stuff like that, he was a strong believer in the power of pot to open up your mind. Uh-huh. So definitely Lincoln smoked a bit. Just <laughs> FYI. You don't hear a lot of history people talking about this, but Lincoln definitely smoked pot. Yeah. In fact, Lincoln... And Pashal Randolph soon joined a secret religious cult called Rosicrucianism. Nice. Or the Order of the Rosy Cross. It was a top secret religious cult dedicated to, quote, esoteric truths of the ancient past. 
Rosicrucian. Is right, Ros- kind of Rosicrucian, yeah. For some reason, my mind heard Rastafarian. Probably oh, coming no, off Rast- of Lincoln smoking weed. No, no, but yeah, the Rosicrucians, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and they, they, they still exist, and you can yeah, get no, occult still... teachings through the mail. Yeah, no, they're still out there. Yeah. In fact, Pashal Randolph loved Rosicrucianism so much that he founded his own version. Uh huh. Okay. He found his own top secret religious cult within the top secret religious cult. His version was called the Fraternitas Rosae Crucius, which of course still exists. Okay. Apparently, apparently, I looked it up. There's about two hundred and fifty thousand Rosicrucians in America right now, so it, it still exists. Fucking Lincoln was in. The Fraternitas Rosae Crucius with Pashal Randolph. And I, I find that fascinating. Like, you hear a lot about Lincoln, but not the fact that he was smoking pot with a trance medium. Yeah, but, you know, think about it. Radio hasn't even been invented. You know? what? Do you, yeah. you can't read a book every single night. You know? No. Exactly. Every now and then, you gotta you gotta get high and go talk to some dead people. Yeah. So Pashal Randolph believed in sex magic. He 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 believe, he basically believed that by using sex and pot, you could achieve higher levels of insight. Okay. That by that by by having sex and smoking a lot of pot, that you could you could you know was a way of like becoming transcendental and uh, leaving your body and achieving a higher level of yeah. consciousness. And that was pretty damn controversial. I mean, it's the freaking 19th I, I, century. I don't you know? know. I don't know about you, but I don't want insight when I'm having sex. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. don't, I don't want to be like, uh, 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 Dark matter, dark matter. Yeah, yeah. You know? I don't. I, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm about to come. I'm about to come. I just figured out how to solve the crisis in Syria. <laughs> I just figured it out. Oh my god, it's so simple. So that's where pie so, ends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so so. It, it, it should be it should be noted that Peshal Randolph believed in free love. And multiple partners. Yeah. So again, and smoking a lot of pot and having a bunch of sex with a bunch of different people. So again, you know Lincoln was a freak. Yes. So just want to be clear about that. You ju- you know, I mean, you know that Lincoln gave a ton of ladies the old stove pipe, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. But, you know, with Lincoln's involvement in the occult to this level, okay, maybe Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter is not fiction. Yeah, yeah, no, they, 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 absolutely. Maybe he, sp- maybe he spent some, himself some time Sam and Dean in it. Yeah. That that could be a, a, a big possibility. Yeah. So, Pashal Randolph was even arrested for his free love uh, bullshit, and he was only released from prison when he publicly stated that his free love his free love beliefs only extended to married couples. Like, oh, <laughs> hey, that's better. <laughs> hey, hey, you can't just have sex with whoever you want. Oh, well, it's only between married people. All right, then you're free to go. <laughs> oh, well, all right then. Bye. He was one of the first people to come up with the idea of a soulmate. Really? Yeah. It, like Pashal Randolph, it's like 1855, and he's like, soulmates exist. You can play every person has a perfect person for them out in the world. But of course, it's Peshaw Randolph. So of course he took it in like this weird ass way. Yeah. So he's like, Jesus, this baby is not happy. So 
So, so of course, Peshaw uh, Randolph is like, soulmates, you got to find one. You got to find one. And let me tell you why. Uh, the only way to achieve enlightenment is by finding your soulmate and mixing sex fluids. <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only way mm-hmm. to achieve enlightenment is through mixing sex fluids and having simultaneous orgasms with your soulmate. That's the only way for it to happen. Yes. He also believed um, that having simultaneous uh, orgasms could, in fact, lead to immortality. Oh. So I'm pretty sure... That I, 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 I'm not 100% positive, but I think I figured out Keith Richards' secret. No. Yes. Pretty sure I just figured it out. Boom. Because you would think if, if anybody would be a master of it in today's times, it would have to be Keith Richards. Yeah. Like he so, could have achieved, yeah. he could have achieved immortality like accidentally. Yeah, yeah, quite possibly, quite possibly. So, so apparently, all I need to do to be healthy and realign my mag- magnetic field is by getting a good fucking. Like that's good to know. Yes. Like that. Oh, well, that's it. That's simple. All right then. <laughs> good. Um, and 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 also. Lincoln believed that. Think I think that's once again that's important to know. Yes. I mean, this is a story about Pashal Randolph, the 19th century sex magician. But we are learning a lot about Abraham Lincoln here. Yes, we are. We are learning a lot about the kinks of Abraham freaking Lincoln. So eventually, as with all free love proponents. Pashal Randolph got super jealous of his wife. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's I think that that's an important thing to say. There are a lot of people who are like, oh, I believe in free love. I don't believe that you can just like own a person. Hey, I think that we can be with whoever we want. You know, we can be, you know, you know, you can be with people and I can be with people. Why are you with that guy? <laughs> Why are you with that guy? I'm so super jealous right now. That happens with every open relationship it's it's yeah freaking ridiculous and and it it happened in the 19th century with peshal randolph i don't i don't know who we got super jealous of i'd like to think it was abraham lincoln but yes. that's just me guessing that's just me guessing there so peshal randolph got super jealous of his wife so he got depressed he hit the bottle hard and he killed himself with a shotgun blast to the face nirvana style nice and that's the end of the story of Pashal Randolph, the 19th century sex magician. So, yeah, Octoroon, that was BFFs with Lincoln, and they smoked pot and banged chicks together. That's some historical shit right there. Yes, it is. And people still follow him, and people still call themselves Rosicrucians and, and uh, are members of his fraternal order. Isn't that amazing? How come they haven't made a movie? <laughs> I I would definitely pay to see the movie of Abraham Lincoln's uh, pot smoking sex magician best friend. <laughs> and he already looks like DiCaprio. I just wrote the entire film. <laughs> you know? I just wrote the entire I just wrote an entire goddamn movie. It's perfect. Yeah. And, so and, anyway, no, that, and, and nobody just stopped him and said, but wait, you're black. Yeah, he he looked ri- ridiculously white, like remarkably white. He looked amazingly white. And that definitely allowed him to be as weird as he was in life. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about you, Maxwell. Are you a, 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 a free man of color in the 19th century? Yes, you are half brown and half white. That is very true. But no, I'm not talking about you, okay? I'm talking about Pashal Randolph. And No, don't plug in the fan. The fan is very loud, and I'm trying to do the podcast. 
Why have you been wanting to plug in the fan all day? You have an entire room full of toys we paid for, and all you want to do is plug in a fan. Oh, yeah. How weird is that? You have Legos. You have superhero action figures that I would kill for when I was your age. And all you want to do is play with a fan. That's weird. <laughs> it's like when you buy your kid all of these really really expensive toys and all they want to play with is the box. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, we can do that after the podcast. How about that? Okay, good. That's the end of, of, of Steve's historical approximations for this week. That's the story of Pash Shaw Randolph, sex magician, 19th century sex magician. And if you'd like to learn more about Pash Shaw Randolph, why don't you try reading a fucking book every once in a while? You know? Mm-hmm. Like to learn more about uh, more if you'd like to learn more about Peshaw Randolph, try going to a library. Yeah. Or Google. We 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 all have supercomputers in our pants pocket right now that can look up any information we want. How are we mm -hmm. still this stupid? Oh, and getting stupider all the time. Getting stupider. We have all of the answers in our pocket. Mm -hmm. So how do we know less now than we did before? It's confusing. Because apparently there's nothing you can do about stupid. Yeah, yeah. I, if you're I, I, stupid, I, I... then you're just stupid, <laughs> and you can't be shown facts. Because yeah. you, you're too stupid to understand what a fact is is yes agreed and it's <sighs> frightening <laughs> yeah yeah because all well, of a sudden all of a sudden they are all over the place yeah 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 